Okay, so in front of me, um, what you've probably just seen on screen, depending on how I edit, is Veal's version of Notre Dame. You can kind of see, like, there it is. Um, it's really beautiful from the side, but then basically it also had a fire, and um, when they redid the front of it, they decided to make it modern. So I haven't seen the front of it yet, but my friend Aaron told me last night that if you walk around to the front, it basically looks like a Mormon church because it's so minimalistic and just really out of place. She said they kind of ruined it. Um, so let's see how it looks. So Aaron was not wrong, um, very much like Mormon Tabernacle vibes up front. It's very confusing. I'm not sure who thought this was a good idea, but I don't know. I guess it gives the building personality. You can tell like if you look at it from this angle, like it definitely like could be two different buildings um, almost because the style is so totally different. Um, so that's interesting. Also fun fact, Lille is very much a college town. Um, my friend Erin, who's an expat that lives here, she's American, she's been living in France. God, I wanna say she's like five or six years at least. Um, we actually met in Florence on Devour's food tour there um, over the summer. So like I said earlier um, in another video that will probably be posted before this, join a food tour if you're traveling solo, you will meet people. Also, I apologize. I think my voice is very low today. Um, coming from Florida to Paris wasn't too bad because Paris was kind of having like spring weather. And now it's gotten very cold in France. So my Airbnb here, I had the heater running all night and I think my, my body is just not used to like having the heater and the dry air. So that's why my voice is so low right now. But hopefully after another cup of like or maybe another espresso, it will sound a little bit more normal and not so low. So this bit behind me is one of the oldest remnants of original Lille, um, still in existence. My friend Erin said they dug it up and kind of just put it here as a memory of what Lille used to be like. Um, a lot of old town, the old town still has like the red brick and um, she said it's very much like part of the reason they have that is because it's so close to Belgium and it's kind of like a Belgian -like building style that they have the red brick. Um, it's very colorful, especially compared to like Paris, where it's a lot of um, like gray slate and very different. Um, but then you also get a lot of like, you know, the newer style, which is part of the reason why Lille is so interesting to walk around. Like there's a little bit of everything. It's also the third largest metropolitan city in France, um, which is surprising. I had no idea. Um, when I booked this trip, I literally just booked it to come see my friend and figured it would be cool to like, you know, check out a new place in France. Um, so that's really cool. Most of the population is actually students. It's a big university town. Um, my friend was telling me last night that there's almost like different roads. So there's like, you know, kind of like this road of bars where like all the 20 somethings hang out. And then there's like, you know, a road kind of just over where a lot of like the 30, you know, 40 year olds hang out. It's a little more like upscale. So she was basically saying, depending on the kind of night you want, you can kind of just pick a street and then just like hang out and bop bop essentially, which is really great. Um, she said it's also great for meeting people. Like if you're young, like it's just, you know, you go out to a bar and people are very friendly here. Uh, Leo is known. Um, Leo is known for being one of the friendliest places in France. Um, which so far seems true. Everybody's really nice, everybody's really friendly. Pretty much everybody speaks English, so if you're American trying to come here, you'll be fine. Um, overall, it's just really lovely.
so I've just warmed up with a really nice cup of hot tomato soup, a little bit of salad, and more coffee, which was very needed. Um, and I've just been strolling around. It's still fairly cold here, but I think maybe I'm just being dramatic about it because there's literally a guy behind me walking around in short sleeves. Um, so I'm gonna just chalk it up to the fact that I've been in Florida for way too long and not used to the cold. Um, because frankly, I'm ready to put on like a hat and gloves, but it is what it is. Um, anyway, I've come across Le Palais des Beaux Arts, which is the Fine Arts Museum here in Lille. It's one of the largest um, museums in France, which is very cool. I'm not going into that, I actually have this on my schedule for tomorrow because tomorrow it's going to rain all day. So, rainy day, museum day, it's kind of perfect. But I'm really happy that I ran into it today just to be able to admire the art collection. It's seriously gorgeous. Um, so I can't wait to see inside tomorrow. Um, fingers crossed. It's, you know, just as gorgeous on the inside as it is on the outside. Okay, so obviously I've caved. I've put on my hat and my gloves because it's just, I'm not used to the cold and it's starting to like mist a little bit too, which is not helping. Um, if you come to Lille, when you come to Lille, because uh, hopefully you do come visit because it is an adorable town, stay in old Lille. Uh, it's like Vauville. Maybe I think I might have butchered that. For how long I've been in France, my French really should be better than it is, so. I apologize, but I'm doing the best I can. Um, basically, Old Town kind of has all of the shops, all of the restaurants. It's like more modern part of the old that I'm in now is like definitely more residential. Like there's still restaurants and stuff. There's just not as many. Like I'm glad I walked over here to see it, but I'm not feeling like particularly moved to walk back over here other than the fact that the arts museum is kind of this way, so I have to walk back here tomorrow to see that. Because um, I'm saving that for when it's raining tomorrow. But uh, yeah, if you're coming to Leo and spending a couple nights, space yourself in Old Town. So it's just about sunset and I had the brilliant idea to walk over to the Citadel of Lille, which is basically in this like lovely little park. Um, I don't know why I was kind of just assuming it'd be more of a sunset view, but there's not. Um, it's also really cold. So that's fun. Um, supposedly I'm five minutes away from the Citadel, but so far I'm not seeing anything. So fingers crossed we find it before dark. <laughs> We'll see. This could have been a bad idea, but hopefully it turns out to be a really good one. Because in the rain tomorrow, I don't think this would have been fun. So I feel like this is kind of our last opportunity to hopefully find it. <sighs> Fingers crossed. I think we've got like 20 minutes before dark and ideally I'd like to be heading out of the park by then. So we'll see. <laughs> So it's almost dark. I feel like we're finally close. I can see like a wall. It's very muddy and I don't think it rained last night and it definitely didn't rain today. So I don't know. I wore the wrong shoes for this. Hopefully I don't fall because I've slipped a couple times and um, I would not be so cute showing up to dinner with mud all over me. So we'll see. So fun fact, um, the Citadel is still a military base, 
and you're not supposed to just wander onto it. So I just got in trouble, um, kind of. The lady was actually very nice. Um, the second she realized I didn't really speak or read French, she's like, oh, it makes sense. Um, so there is a sign outside that says in French, like, don't go in. Obviously, I didn't see it or read it. Um, so it's fine, but um, she did tell me that if you do want to go in, you can contact the tourism board and schedule a tour and it's like a whole thing. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get that done by like tomorrow, but now we know. Don't just wander into the Citadel, even though it says on the map that it's a landmark and it looks like something you can just wander into. You can't. It's a military base. Oops. <laughs> So I'm going to just try to backtrack, hopefully, without as much mud to my Airbnb to pick up a couple things before dinner, if I have time. And then I'm going to a really nice Chinese spot that a friend recommended. So hopefully that will be good. Okay, well, I wish it wasn't so cold tonight because I just found the cutest little, like, bar boat um but there's no way that i'm sitting outside on water right now because i'm freezing but if you're here in the summer definitely come over to this like little park obviously don't go in the citadel but um oh there's like another one there's a couple little like bar boats they're really cute um i feel like i'm gonna have to come back here in the summer and like actually get to enjoy them Plus, I feel like this town in general would be just adorable in the summer when there's like flowers and stuff out. If you can, visit Leo in the summer. I have a feeling it would be amazing. Winter's not bad, but summer, I think it'd be perfect. Yeah. 